So the first 100, you have to you have to first know the people you're going to work with. Then after knowing the people you're going to work with, you initiate your work plan. You make a structure with your work plan, how you're going to do it. Like me, I don't represent only women. I, I represent all people in the parliament. I represent women, I represent men, I represent youth. So I, I know who, who is I, who is who is representing a youth? Who is representing a, a, a women's? Who like if my sister here in Ambi Farida go through, I'll, I'm ready to work with her because me as Aisha, I'm not in any party that I'm working for any party. I'm I'm independent, and what is taking me to power is work for my people, not working for a party, but to deliver service to the people. Ah, then knowing people that you are going to work with. So you want to tell us in your first 100 days we will be just knowing people? No, I'll not be just knowing people. After knowing people, I'll make sure that I'll stimulate my, my structure. Like, if, like, as I'll follow my manifesto. I, my manifesto has many things. Uh, first of all, I'll... I'm going to give women drones through robbing from outside the country because I'll, I have friends outside the country because I've been moving. I'm a businesswoman, I, well, as a banker. I've been moving to several countries. So I have very many friends which I, I have connection with. So my first thing is I'm going to find out how to help these rampant job seekers because in my community, in my constituents, Many people, they don't have jobs. We shall be, we shall be getting to that later, Aisha. Uh, now, let me get to the issue of uh, the alarming figures of girl-child dropout from schools. And many of these girls, mostly, and the situation has gone worse during this COVID, where many have been impregnated and forced into childhood marriages. How would like to know from you, Farida, since you have been a serious activist in, in two of these areas, what's your intervention? Because it, it, it's painful. Mm. The statistics that were given from March to today, mm. young girls have been impregnated and they've been forced into early childhood marriages. Is this um, coming from civil society, I have had the privilege of getting experience in, on that particular issue of school dropouts. And we've used several avenues to support, for instance, I've been serving in the ghettos, to support uh, ghetto children to stay in school. Uh, uh, first of all, I would like uh, government, uh, and particularly the Ministry of Education, to diagnose effectively this issue of school dropouts. Yes, I understand that it has gone up because uh, uh, some of it is due to some parents that mm -hmm. have to Negligious. turn their children into some sort of income generating uh, person, mm -hmm. I would not call it activity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they turn you into an income generating, or you're supposed to now pay school fees for these other people, so you get married quickly. So there is a legal. As a person going into parliament, we must look at the legal enforcement of of, of child abuse. I call it child abuse, uh, forcing a, an infant into marriage or a teenager into marriage. Uh, but also on the social point of view, I know, I know that uh, it's a society. Sometimes it's a it's a level of mentality, and people require mentorships, require campaigns. It's like the campaign we did about HIV/AIDS to continue to still tell people that please, dear parents, it is illegal to take your child into, for instance, prostitution. Do you know that there are parents who sometimes can say? Um, you go and then you educate your, your, your fellow sisters and brothers, like as if for, for them they don't have hands. Mm -hmm. eh? So there are some parents that are exploitative, exploitative in nature, but also there is poverty. There is poverty. So it's a multi 
multifaceted problem that has to be tackled. But on a social point of view, I really want to see what policy or enforcement of the bills that already are in place that we can do to keep children in school. We can have school support. Of course, systems. this is not school a story. Support, it's not a story. And 16 I years in activism, yeah. handling such a cases, yeah. uh, your predecessors have failed to articulate some of those issues. Where is the disconnect? I've told you it's a multifaceted issue, according to me. There is poverty and ignorance. There is uh, exploitation of parents, just like you see that there are some parents who are from Karamoja. Yeah? Mm. They have this uh, person, Alategerida, mm. mm, who will con them into coming on the streets and collecting money on mm. their behalf. And they take it away from them. Mm. So when you look at the face of the issue, you think that actually we have people who don't have, but they are being exploited by the people who put them on the streets. Mm. So these problems, you need to further investigate them. The issue of children dropping out of school, one, I know that I am going to actually even inform my president and really implore him to look at the social fabric of Uganda, the homes, family system. We also have a problem, which is not actually only poverty, poverty-stricken families. You would imagine that these are the children that will only end up in prostitution or dropping out of school. This problem, even well-to-do children, there's a social problem that needs a social solution of supporting people with mentorships, Supporting people with village clubs that can, can engage the youth or young people into productive activities that will keep them, keep them safe, keep them uh, focused on what the brighter future points to. So there is well, also an issue of parents who were child mothers, for instance, and they don't know how to nurture children. Oh, She's okay. a child herself, so she doesn't have well, to support well, 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 Farida, at that point, let me also first get, uh, weigh in uh, Aisha into this matter. Uh, was this something that blew away your mind when, uh, when, when a research was carried out from March to date that over 2,000 pupils got pregnant, others ended up into forced early childhood marriages. First of all, my viewers... Um, and how serious is that, that problem in the constituency that you want to represent? As Aisha, um, um, I have a foundation which um, really, it's already in place. Um, nurturing children, how to uh, I'm developing the uh, to to discover talents from from them, so that they can be busy. Like um, I've there is I have a studio, music studio, whereby this 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 youth who who have talents, they come in and uh, we produce for the music. And in in my constituency, there is there is uh, pitches which need to work on. So if the student we we nurture them. Uh, they can they can be busy in the pitches. They know how to 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 play football. They they be they they, they keep themselves they are busy. We try, we we discover them what to do. It it will really. But of course, not all of them are going to play football. No, not all. Yeah. I say we discover talents from different talents, not mm. only football, mm. but this di several talents mm. like football, music. Mm, there is uh, we have also website designing very many several several talents we discover them mm. so i saw that in my constituency the the big problem in my constituency is because they don't have jobs they don't have what to do and they are not natured that's the problem so the, i'm urging I'm, I'm just humbled asking the president of uganda so that he can put in place people to train them like if they can tell these young girls that if you get pregnant you you, you will be, you but, but where do you leave the role of a parent? No, 
in a, all this thing. Yeah, I, I don't I don't leave the role of a parent, but as a government has No, it, it all starts with a parent. Yeah, my, it's my, how, my sister. It all starts with a parent. It starts with a parent, yeah. but as a government it it also involves the government to mm. tell the parent how to nurture the children. You get, but as a government, we have to help because these are the this is the problem of of what of Uganda now. Mm. If like we had recent brutality of police beating up these two these these boys and you know these are boys who don't have what to do. If these things happen, they get chances to rob people who have money. Mm. So that's the problem is if we train them how to. To, to this, if we discover their tyrants and they know how to utilize them, mm. it will stop them. Okay, okay, thank you for that uh, insight. Uh, if uh, again I'm to get back to Farida, um, Kampala has turned out to be a hotbed of human trafficking. Uh, many of the ladies that have fallen victim of uh, sexual abuse in the Arab world and wherever they go seek for greener pastures, majority of them are from around, a district that you intend to represent. Mm. Uh, what's going to be your intervention into uh, this human trafficking? Uh, first of all, uh, within the laws of Uganda, uh, we actually have a good law that is against human trafficking or trafficking of body organs. I think it's already a good law as is and I've taken interest to look at it. But what I also know, uh, and I told you, I don't emotionally think. I want to use my head to think. The business of export labor is as old as the universe itself. <laughs> Of course, now they call it modern slavery. <laughs> no, you can, you can call it modern slavery when it becomes exploitative. But the person, a person to choose to go and work in London, for instance, whether they go to work in London because they are a qualified auditor and therefore they are going to work for a very good company in London, is their choice. Or if she's leaving as a maid to go and clean hotels or be in people's homes is also a right that people will traverse this world to look for opportunities it's a right and in itself it's not a sin when does it become a sin there will be countries countries want to get federated for instance east african federation that is a vision that we hope for and as a leader I'm also vying for it, seriously. Because we want to have huge markets for our, our produce and services. And services include labor. Here in Uganda, we have an issue, and if you ask me about the legislation, the, the bills that have to really look, be looked into, the wage bill. Yeah? So I want to tell you that movement of people is not a sin and as leaders we must tell people that it is your right to wish to work in russia to wish to work in um, in arab nations but you should not be exploited and these are the ways that you can be exploited if you get sexual favors they should be a liaison or support office to understand what you're facing or to check on you but does so, does it bother you yes. I, I have no problem with people going to go going to work abroad yes I, but I what kind of jobs are our people going to do that should be the question if somebody is going to be a maid yes he's exploited he's exploited yeah is somebody is going to ride a border border because in uh, in, in another country. country in another country that's exploited and, and those things that can't be done here no. Are we not losing human, uh, resourceful Timothy, human labor? Auntie Timothy, you listen to me carefully. And don't be emotional. No, I'm not being emotional on this. But thing. let me tell you, it is a right of any human being to wish to, to ride their border border in Rwanda, for instance, or Kenya. 
because they, they know probably the value of the Kenyan shillings is much higher. It is their right. And you not, it, it can even be your child tomorrow. And they tell you, Daddy, bye-bye. We've gone to Russia. It's a right. Now, mm. after it being a right, mm. we, cannot, we only need to regulate it, to regulate it. The kind of jobs that are on the global market includes domestic workers. That is a fact. So you cannot say, and yet you as Timothy, you cannot employ all these people as a country, and I'm, I'm now talking about as Uganda, there will be those people who will be experts, for instance, I have seen doctors in Dubai, no. Ugandan doctors. No. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. Seen, yeah, yeah. The exploitation is yeah. real, mm. and it's regrettable. But what I'm telling and you... What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Mm. That's where I want you. To talk about. Yeah, what this, are you going to do about the exploitation? Not, because yeah. some of these exploitations are not called for. They're supposed to yes. be managed here. Right yes. now, in, 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 yes. in South it Arabia, is the control. But, oh, no, I'll come to you. I'll come it to you. It is Aisha. the control mechanism. It is the policies that support these people to be able to work abroad that needs to be revisited, looked into, and as a legislator that is going to into the 11th parliament, mm. that's where I am going to look at. But for you to say that people going abroad that, should no. be looked at as a bad thing, no, good even good if good. they are going to do domestic work, because policies, I will tell you... I've been to the Ministry of Labor, policies are there, they have their association. I am too, uh, But I'm talking about mm. transparency in that trade, and the enforcement question. Yes, now you are on the same platform. It is the enforcement of the policies that support people working abroad that have to be revisited. Are we now on the same page? Yeah, but don't start by informing the country that working abroad is modern day slavery because there are some people that have benefited. From working abroad, I'm sure you know some, and she knows some, but I and was... some of them have even been maids. Uh, what, but what, 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 is Farida, let me also pass, is, let me yeah. also bring in Aisha. No, Seems no, to be no, having what, a what different want, view from what you are what advocating. What I want from her mm. is to protect our girls or That's boys what I'm here talking about mm. with them those places. countries. Mm. Because right now mm. there is some girls who were at the Uganda embassy. They were just seated mm. down, sleeping without mm. anything. Like we don't have food. So I, I, as, as a woman MP, we're going to work together so that those, we put in policies so that this country, we sign with them and we sign. They are there. They are there. They, they, they have been doing these things. Them. We have to affect them it's because they are not really affected. Really now, now, really now really talk really about really this. Is. My sisters are in, in, in Saudi Arabia right now. They are just at the embassy sleeping on the floor. Mm. They're crying, but the government is not helping them. So we urge you. Uh, the 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 speaker of parliament Kadaga and uh, the, the the minister for gender, please help this girl so that they can be removed from these embassies of Uganda. They come back to Uganda because you, as a government, has failed to effect its laws. How it, it, it when it, it signed an amendment with those countries, but they are not affecting them because the children, uh, the girls, my sisters, are, are crying. Even right now, some, some girls send me some videos when they're crying on the embassy that they don't have money. They, they were, they, do, you have, do you have issues with the agents in the trade? In this trade? They have to. No, no, no. Do you have issues with the agents in this trade? Because they, ha they, they are never transparent. You have, you have heard of stories where people are taken, they're not told what they're going to do, and, upon, and I have no problem with that, but upon getting there, it's that somebody, his official travel document is removed from him. That is incarcer incarceration, my, my that's, sister. That, no, if, that, that's what I come to pray with uh, the government, so that it can affect, can talk with these people who take these girls out, so that they can, if they can put their effectiveness, how the... They can solve this problem. Well, uh, it's, it's, it's quite a very complex uh, topic that we cannot girls, exhaust uh, tonight. Um, I want, I want can I hear from you, you are, 
your they last final to, remarks on that on that matter uh on that matter i mm. want to say that um i urge the global governments mm. where the export is going to take place mm. and they have to uh, and, and, and the host country the one sending the the, the, the labor to to tighten mm. to tighten security of these people that go to work and support mechanisms it could be a liaison office or a support office where this person can say, I no longer want to work in this home, so therefore, can you please get me an alternative mm -hmm. home? Support systems. Mm -hmm. But I know, as I know, that there is a East and West that export labor mm -hmm. will be here today and it will be here tomorrow, mm -hmm. so we need to revise it mm -hmm. on yeah, how to do it. Yeah, Movement of yeah. people. You are last, you are last parting short on the show as uh, we leave. I just, um, as in, I, I, I just, Want, uh, I, I request the parliament and the minister who is concerned of this labor so that they can effect these policies. Because these Arab countries, yes, our sisters and brothers go and work and get some money, but there are some people who are rude to them. So we need to revive the policies. And we talk wow. with, we, we gather with these labor exporters. Well, it seems we have run out of time. Um, now, the people of Kampala. Well, 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 okay, Farida, okay, make you people, talk something about your yes, people. The people of Kampala district, <laughs> ensure your vote to Nami Farida, 14th January. Mm -hmm. You will mm -hmm. not regret. Mm -hmm. And God bless you all. And keep. Supporting and you are people of Nakawa as well. The people of Nakawa West, just you vote Aisha Wanyana, a kind lady who will work for you, who will deliver, who will not segregate in tribes or in any capacity. Remember, I'm independent. I'll be able to work with everyone. Please. Well, thank, thank you, you very, very much, much for being God part of this show, and uh, we wish you well uh, in your uh, campaign trails. Thank you. And uh, we wish you the best. Thank here you. at STV. And to our viewers, stay well, stay better, and not bitter. And always remember that this country is bigger than all of us. Goodbye. Watching STV, select for fun.